Hello, today I'm gonna to show you how to use average function and also the average x function and what are the main difference and way to use what. So for this example, I have created a sample data set. So, like, so this is a sample data set which I've created. So in the column A, you have the students, the B subjects and the marks, the bonus and the calculation which I have done in Excel. So that's the, that's the reason I have named it as Excel underscore calculated. So as you can see, you have several students here listed here, starting from Alex and also the respective marks scored by Alex in each of the, these three subjects, English, Mathematics, and Science, Science. And uh, for the sake of this example, uh, this, uh, I've created this dummy data. And I have something here, something called bonus. So it's, it means, uh, let's say the student has a very good discipline so they are granted additional bonus mark okay so let's say the subject wise they have only like 95 marks max and then remaining is something like uh, bonus marks for the good behavior uh, which they demonstrate in the school so and then let's see how we can do the same calculation so basically i want to tell you that the average x function the evaluation happens at a record level row by row. So if you look here, so basically what I've done here is multiplied by marks with the bonus percentage and then added to the marks so that I get the total marks. And then I want to calculate the average. So if I'm supposed to do this in Power BI, this might be a little tricky because the evaluation should happen record by record, and then I should get the average. So in this case, if you look at the average for Alex, I'm getting around 15.2. This is the average I'm getting. So let me quickly try to do this in Power BI and see what we are getting. So I have loaded the data into Power BI and I've created a matrix here. So let me bring this to the center. So now if I'm using average function, right? So let me create a new measure and call it as average. So basically I can use a average function whenever I want to just calculate the simple arithmetic mean. So I can simply write average and then I have only one option in the syntax. So in this case, let me simply use the marks code by the students and, and now I get the simple uh, arithmetic average of the marks code. So now let me show you how to use the average X function. So let me quickly create a new measure. And then let me call this as average X is equal to the syntax is average X. Okay, and the table name in this case, I have named it as sheet one. And now we need to calculate the bonus first, right? The bonus marks. So how do I do that? So I need to evaluate the data record by record. And that's the reason I'm using the average X function. So now I need to multiply my marks times the bonus percentage. So this will give me the additional marks which I'm getting because of the discipline and then add it back to the marks code. So, so now let me hit enter. So now the average X function will evaluate the data record by record and then give me the results. So if I bring this to the values here, you can see here, so what it's doing is like, it's calculating the average, adding up uh, the bonus percentage and then giving me the results. So this is the difference between average function and average X function. Basically the average X function will help you to evaluate the results at a row level. So I can still modify this. Let me copy this query here and then see if I can use this with other uh, functions like all functions. So if I copy this here and then let me call this as average X and then let me call this as all. And then now what I can do is 
here I can use the all function. And now if I hit open the bracket and now hit enter, so if I can get the overall marks code, let's say for the entire class. So I can still have the same data everywhere. So this particular function using uh, combined with all will help us to express this as a percentage. Let's say if someone wants to see some data has expressed as a percentage and you want the denominator to be constant, you can couple this with all function. So there are other numerous ways to use this function. These are the usually common ways which we are using uh, in our day-to-day -day job. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Great day.